You think Marlon will stick to his word? As long as Laurel chills out. Aaron! It's all right. We were careful. But how... Moira told him. It's OK. I was protecting him. Mm. This is cute. Where's Adam? Packing his bags. He doesn't need to go now. Yeah, we've sorted it with Marlon. He's not going to say anything. Just me going, then. Come here. Chaz! Chaz! I take it this is the famous Aaron. Who wants to know? Oh, that is... Let's go home. No chance. First, I want to know what he was doing there. So go on. What do you think I've got an answer to you, do you? Just get out. Get out! Your hands off me. Right, no one needs any more trouble. Yeah, but some of us need answers. There are no answers! Because of him, my girlfriend is dead! No, your girlfriend's dead. Because of you, mate. Because you're a muppet. Oh. Hey! 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 Why don't you listen? Get off me! No, 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 no
If you stayed away, she wouldn't have died. Well, not the way that she did. I had it under control. No, what you had was a disaster waiting to happen. And it did. Because of you. I heard about you. Topping that bloke. How'd you live with it? You don't. You just have to go on with your life. Ta -da! And for my next trick. <laughs> What about the tracking device? Uh, disabled. We need to take An idiot, as demonstrated by your near arrest. Never rely on the manufacturer's tracker. Just found it party, mate. It's nothing to do with us. Ken's handiwork, then. Wonder if Moira knows. I'll check. It's no point setting her, is there? I'm sure we can work some out. <laughs> I don't negotiate with idiots. Oh, really? That's all right, then. Negotiate with me. Really? I reckon I'll do what the hell I like, because I pretty much own you both now. Or, rather, the police do. Oh, look. He hasn't touched the car. Take it. I mean, there must be something we can do to make this disappear. I mean, think about it. We could be useful to you. Oh. You need something, or someone, taken care of. You come to us. Thought any more about when's best? For what? Planting daffodils. I'm not doing it. You are? Oh, of course, yeah, now you said that. Yeah, oh, so you're choosing prison instead, are you? No, I'm choosing to stay out of it. Robert's not going to call the police. Oh, I'm glad we can be sure about that. Well, what's he going to say? They nicked my car. He's got it back. They're not going to care. They might care about our little operation. Right, well, then we'll pull it if it came to it. Oh, yeah, but that's the thing about the police. They don't call and say when they're going to come round. It's an easy job, probably a very well paying easy job. Well, let me know how you got on with it, yeah? It's going to take two. Well, it's not going to happen, is it? Because I'm not a burglar. Can you stop walking now? Oh, well, this is exciting. The sooner the better. You said one's best to do it, didn't you? And you said you didn't have the bottle. It looks like you've lost yours. Ross! See your Pete? You're the one who works with him. I don't start back till next week, do I? So what's your excuse for not cleaning my room? Have you seen him or not? Er, uh, not. Right then. Right then. What's brought this on? Because he's a little weasel, isn't he? Who knows what he's going to do? If he makes that call, then it's the car stuff finished, so am I. Yeah, me too. I'm not bothered about that. I don't really care about myself either, but my mum's had enough. I'm not putting her through that again. Right then. Shall we? What now? <whistles> right. No one gets hurt, though, right? I mean it. <laughs> You're already hurting my ears with your bleating. Come on. I'm gonna need some stuff. Chrissy? Lachlan? Robert, is that you? Robert? I don't know what you want, but you can get out of my house. I said get out of my house! Ooh! He's meant to have a dodgy heart. Now Robert was making that up, he said. Get in there. You take the weight, I'll get the door. Steady. 
Wow. Well, you looked the part. Bet you had them already, didn't you? That's not the only thing he had. He took it too far. He got a bump on the head. Well, Lawrence did. Yeah, you say it like it just happened. Will he live? Unless he bores him to death. <laughs> you saw the CCTV out? Oh, no, I thought I'd leave that on until after I was caught on camera talking to you two. <laughs> right. Take whatever from downstairs in his room. Not much from ours, but make sure you get something or it's gonna look sus. We well, can not just bring the stuff down or dump it. No, we can't. Anyway, I wanna have a look around. I'll stumble across him in a bit, untie him, and then we'll come and find you two mid-act and I'll see you off like the hero I am. Someone's gonna have to take a decking. Any preferences? Do not hit me back. Go on, have fun. What, do you not like free stuff if it's not on four wheels? Are you actually that desperate to impress him that you gotta pay people to let you hit him? Oh, no, the hitting's the least of it. You deserve that for my car. Go on, before I change my mind and make that call. Actually, you know what? You really wanna know? I really don't. No, I'm gonna tell you anyway, because I'm not having you, a thief, coming here and judging me. Listen, don't worry about it. I want his respect. I've earned it, ten times over. But he doesn't give it out, because he's all about making you dance to his tune. Like last week, when I was about to show my respect for my dead mother and he's busy faking a heart attack. I never got to in the end, so he's due a bad day, I reckon. Obviously, I'll also enjoy smacking you in the face. I'll enjoy it. Because you won't get another free one. I'm not seeing anything you like. I'm not a thief. Well, that was part of the deal. Yeah, well, he's nicking enough stuff for both of us, isn't he? Because he knows that's all he's good for. How are you getting on up there? I've just been looking around your bird's knicker drawer. <laughs> she got shares in Spanx or something? Right, I think I know who's gonna get punched. <laughs> you done in here? Nice shy. How much is this worth? Why don't you take it and find out? Nah. Looks rubbish. What are you doing? What? I'm making it look authentic. Yeah, we'll just make it quick. Yeah, it's about time I went to go rescue the old get. So you might wanna... Guess what I did? Took the wrong purse, all cash and no card, so you can imagine how long that lasted. Oh, my God. <sighs> Let him go. No, no, you've got what you came for, so just get out, OK? Grab her! No, right, no! Right, ah! Calm ah! down, right? Hey, we are, we are. Everyone's calm, all right? So there's no need to do anything stupid. Just walk away. Where's my dad? What have you done with Shut my dad? your mouth, and you will live to find out. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. He was feeling better, so I gave him some money for the cinema. He's, he's, he's all right. Come on, let's go. Nah, we've not got enough yet. Yeah, you have. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, there's a safe. All oh, right. Well, why didn't you say? I just did, didn't I? Fine. Soft drop. Ah. She moves. Take care of her. Do it. What have you done with my father? He has heart problems. Please let me go and check on him. I know you think I'll run and call the police, but I won't. <laughs> Some people put family first. <sighs> right now, you're just a thief. I, I don't care what you've taken. I don't care if you get caught. If my father dies, you're a murderer. So let go of me, please. Let go of my neck. Where are you going? Get off him! What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Run! Go! I said go! Come on! Come on if that's what you want! Chris, you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Right, get upstairs now. You're joking, I'm not scared of him. Well, you should be, you're on crutches. A couple of pints. I want no bother. What did you tell him that yesterday? When he bottled me dad? Maybe he deserved it. No, 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 not anymore, he doesn't. Yeah, I figured he wasn't welcome in that right, Chaz. 
And you are? His son. And the boat you're looking for is him. Well, no, hang on a minute. He bottled him. Is this right? We need to have a chat down the station. I'll come with you. No, you won't. I don't believe this is happening. Nothing's happened yet. No, but it's gonna win it. He's on a suspended sentence, Diane. If you go back inside. Oh. Okay. I get the message. I'm going. No, then it asks you to come here, so don't put that on me. I made mistakes, I admit it, okay? Well, I pushed you away when I met Sandra, and then your sister came along. But we were mates before that, weren't we? Look down for each other. So she know you're here? She left. Not long after you went. So she finally seen sense. Well, good for her. I had to pick up the pieces, start a new life. But I never stopped thinking about you. Shame I can't say the same about you, innit? You know, having cancer, facing the truth that I could die, changed everything. I had to come. Right, well, you got your answer, didn't you? So you can do one. Let me help you out with this place. Take the money. No strings. I promise. Listen, I don't want your money. Did I not make that clear? And I don't care that you're sick. As far as I'm concerned, you're already dead, mate. Ross! Hang on. Aaron! Aaron! I thought you said you weren't interested. Yeah, well, now I am. See, you want help with it, I know. So? You gonna tell me who that was? Nobody. You gonna tell me about this job? Easiest money you'll ever make. Let's cheer up. It's Christmas, baby. My mate's giving me the security code. All I have to do is bip in, and then it's supermarket suede. All right, what's in it for me? We're talking high-end gear here, mate. Top electricals, sports brands, the lot. I'll take what I need for the crimbo prezzies and knock the rest out in no time. You get half. See? Told you I'd see you right, didn't I? Yeah, right, come on, we're waiting well, for we're not just steaming in. That's what you think. It's the crimbo party, isn't it? So either getting plastered and photocopying the backsides, we clear them out. Sweet, or what? Yeah, great. Oh, it's up to you, mate. Deb told me you were in need of some cash. I was just trying to throw you a bone. Now, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, mate, it's still full on in there, is it? I know you. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm just uh, one of the attempts to the uh, the Christmas rush. Only that we didn't hire any. Your van, is it? Where'd you pass? Are you going to tell me what that was all about earlier? You knew it didn't work there. What was I supposed to do? Not beat him after death. This was supposed to be an easy job. Oh, really? Well, I'm not the one flying around on faultlift trucks, am I? Well, you didn't think anyone would notice that? The only thing they're going to notice is you levering some poor sod. What is wrong with you today? You've been wound up all day. Well, just, just forget about it, yeah? You got what you wanted. Give me a shout when you flog this stuff. I need the money. I'll be honest with you. You know, of all the things we've done together, this is up there. Yeah. Where is it? What? You know what? Do you mean, like, Wally? Like, where's Wally? Wally? I, I don't think I've seen Wally. Yeah, that's great. Where's my taxi? Oh, you mean your taxi? What did you just say? Actually, I don't think you could have timed it any better. Come on. I think it's just right back. There you go. 
is all yours. To be honest with you, Ross, not sure how many passengers you're getting in the back of that. Yeah, it might be a tight squeeze, that. You crushed my car. Looking a little bit upset there. Hormones, is it? No, it's not all bad. We've actually we've come up with a new name for your taxi firm. It's a Cuba. <laughs> you see what we did there? See, I, I think he's only seen the bad side of this. Too far. Too far. No, 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 Ross. You see, you took two and a half grand of my money. That Cuba metal right there, that's us quits. Quit? This was worth well more than that. Haha, <laughs> this isn't over. <sighs> Not by a long way. Boy racer. If he's wrecked my gearbox. <sighs> Robert, just don't kick off with him today, all right? You get your car back and it's done with. Is it though? Yes, it is. Where's the stuff? Safe and sound. Well, maybe not safe. What are you doing? Do you know how much that stuff is worth? Do you want me to stick your head in that thing? And how's that going to solve your problem? I need that weed. He gives the keys first. Yeah, plus the two and a half grand you owe me. Robert! I thought you said we were quits with that. You are really getting on my nerves now. Yeah? Well, you've been getting on mine for ages, so maybe this is payback time. Well, all right, OK. Be reasonable. Oh, now he wants to be reasonable. Can we just get this over and done with? Fine. This is how it is. My car back, plus the money you owe me, or these pot plants are chips. I don't have the money. Well, that's a shame. Well, don't, no, all right. I'm sure we can figure something out. Boys, I really need them. Oh, OK, OK, OK! This is the deal. When I sell it, I cut you in. 10%, 20, 20 even. Or we can just keep it and flog it ourselves. Boy, stop messing me about this is a genuine offer. Why are you messing about with drugs anyway after what happened to your cousin? Trust me, it's a mug's game. Look, I, I don't want to argue. I made you an offer, and all you have to do is walk away and leave the stuff where it is. Why are you not getting this? You don't get to call the shots anymore. Please, I'm desperate. OK. OK. If you can answer this simple question, then I'm, I might be kind to you. Go on. How much weed would a wood chip chip if a wood chip could chip weed? Ross, uh, Ross, Ross, look, look. Can we just stop this? Yeah, when he hands me my keys over. And if I do, have we got a deal? I'm waiting. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> What have you done? My family's future relied on that. Oh, you get back here. Only call yourself a cab. My phone. You shouldn't have tried to blackmail me. in the toilet, I think. How did it go with Adam yesterday? I'll play earrings tomorrow. But it's still the Christmas holidays. The wheels are just as keep on turning. Well, I think it's great that you can laugh. Was I laughing? I was just spouting any old rubbish because I don't actually know what else to say. Sorry. Are you going to come, though? I reckon it'll mean the world to him, you know. I'll see. Everything all right? Would it help if we sent a fruit basket? It'd help if you shut your mouth. Yeah, I mean, come on, boss. Look, don't you know how inconvenient it is when people slag your mate off for being a murderer? It's pretty inconvenient when someone stuffs a fist down your throat as well. Do you know how you can avoid it? Love how everyone's feeling sorry for Adam. Oh, poor Adam, locked up in prison when all he's done is kill someone. Poor Jeffrey Dahmer, poor Jack the Ripper. <laughs> do you want to go, then? Tomorrow? I don't know. What do you think? I'm asking my advice on something. Are you not my big brother? Yeah, yeah, I am. Well then. Well then, what? Ooh, Marlon, shouldn't have gone to so much effort for Halloween. You scare the kids. <laughs> Listen, 
lost to Rebecca here. Do you want to get rid of them so you've gone trick-or-treating or something? I didn't get a chance to say what I wanted to say earlier. Yeah, and we're not here for a fight, so keep him on the lead. Go on, then. We're moving to Liverpool. Ross has got work there, and I'm really excited about a new start. But I'm not leaving Seb. He's my son. Mine too. And I'm not leaving Moses either. Oh, you want to bet? You didn't even want Seb at the beginning. You tried to blackmail me into having an abortion. It's true. Since my accident, you have been brilliant. You really stepped up. Victoria too, but... I let you both convince me that I'm not capable of bringing up my own son. Only because I care about Seb. Funnily enough, so do I. Yeah, I've got a brain injury, but I can do so much more than you think I can. And we're just supposed to let you use Seb as a guinea pig, yeah? I'm not asking for permission. Whatever arrangement we've had recently has been informal. I'm taking Seb. And if you want to stop me, then I will see you in court. You're mad. You're never going to win this. Uh, don't count on it. You tried to paint us as unfit, but you're the one who barely takes an interest in Moses. The fact that you palm him off on anyone with a pulse is a running joke around here. The stuff I have on you... Things could get very messy if I started listening at all. That's all just hearsay. You're never going to win this in court. Really? Are you willing to take that chance? Because my solicitor doesn't agree. If you want to fight, then I'm ready for one. Because if I haven't got my son, then I haven't got anything left to lose. <laughs>